Welcome, friends. Today, we are doing another fragrance review. Tremendous. That's right, friends. Once again, I have returned with another fragrance review. Haven't been doing enough of these, I feel. Um, so here I am. I wouldn't be expecting fireworks today because this is a review of Mugla Cologne. Discontinued Mugla Cologne, if you will. Um, I will be getting into the whole mythos and madness and the who's and the wherefores and the and the whys. Um, but this video will follow my tried and tested not necessarily like the greatest results of the test, but you know, my tried and tested formula for reviewing, which is I will tell you the notes, I will tell you the notes that I get, and then I will just generally talk about the fragrance. Um, so we have a blurb though this time. And it says, when creating Mugler Cologne, Thierry Mugler tried to copy the scent of an ordinary soap he bought from Morocco, which he liked very much. The fragrance was created by Alberto Marias in 2001. The composition starts off with a sharp and clear green and citrus notes, followed by a soapy accord. Hence, this fragrance is an extremely fresh scent of cleanliness. Top notes are bergamot, neroli and petit grand. There is a mysterious S note at the heart, a molecule kept in secret. The base is formed of white musk. Okay, so from the blurb you can tell the notes are neroli, bergamot, petit grain. S, and then Musk. Um, what notes do I get? Well, I get the Bergamot, I get the Neroli, I get some of the Pettigrain, and I get the Musk. <laughs> and um, as you will come to discover, I also get some of the S, or what I, what I kind of, what I have speculated to be the S. Someone likes me look alone. Anyway. The mysterious S note. Let's start at the beginning, shall we? This is exactly what it says on the tin. Um, it smells like a <clears throat> it smells like a non-expensive bar of soap. You know, um, I actually get a little bit more than what is advertised as far as notes is concerned. I think there's vetiver in here. I think that makes up part of like the green composition, you know, um, and it's a little bit woody, which you can get from like Pettigrain every once in a while. Um, but I get this kind of vetiver Pettigrain sort of thing that gives this structure, gives this some kind of strength, actually. You can go blind to this. It's not, I'll come on to that because I think that's part of what the S note is. Mm. Excuse me whilst I hydrate. This starts off with a very apparent neroli and bergamot. Um, neroli especially. I wouldn't say it's a particularly expensive Neroli in here. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a synthetic, whichever one was cheaper. Um, you used to be able to buy this at retail for 30 quid for 100 mil. Absolute scenes. Um, it was reformulated and re-released under Come Together. Mugler Cologne line was expanded into about six or seven of them. And this one was re-released and called Come Together. There were a few other ones and they were all shit, frankly. Um, I never bought one of the new ones because, I mean, I had, I had this and I had something else. And I had, uh, not something else, I had this and a backup. Um, and I thought, what's the point? You can get it for 30 quid. No longer. No longer can you get this for 30 quid. There are bottles on eBay. There are bottles on eBay. That are going for woof. How much? 
Well, there's a 300ml bottle on eBay at the minute, sealed, for £220. If you'd said that five years ago, six years ago, you would have been laughed at. That is insane. But such is the nature of discontinuation. Um, the reason I'm bouncing around a bit in this review is because there's not that much to say. It smells green, clean and mean. And that's it. Um, vetiver, neroli, bergamot, pettigrain and a musky base. Um, it lasts quite well. It also has an S note, and I think that's Isoe Super. I used to think it was saffron, but I think I was wrong. Um, I don't think it's saffron anymore. I think it is like an Isoe Super type molecule. If not Isoe Super, it's something very similar or something that produces the same effect. Um, it's That could be what's giving it this kind of woody vibe. It's entirely unisex. Nobody can lay claim to the smell of soap, surely. Um, the performance is actually quite good. I get about six hours from it, but you'll stop smelling it after a couple. But it's still there because people can, people can catch whiffs of it, you know. Um, it's been discontinued. It's not much more I can say about it, to be honest. It's very simple. It's very basic. It always was. It was never trying to be anything other than what it was. It was a complete departure from the rest of the Mugler line, which is one of the things that endeared it to me. It was so different from Amen, Angel, Alien, Aura. All of those are a million miles away from this. You know, but this kind of got forgotten and left behind and I always felt a bit bad, a bit bad for it. Perfect fragrance for going on holiday. You go somewhere hot and you wear that, you're going to be in absolute rapture, enraptured with it. I've been saying that word a lot recently, I'm a big fan. This used to be ubiquitous. It was everywhere. Anyone could buy it and love it. It was an amazing fragrance. Still is an amazing fragrance. And for 30 quid at retail, like walk into the shop and pick it up for 30 quid, you were laughing. Um, it doesn't change much throughout the fragrance. Not on me. What you get after 20 minutes is what you get for the entire fragrance for me. There's a little bit of movement at the top with the bergamot and the the bergamot and the narcissus the neroli, I beg your pardon, jostling for position. And then the vetiver and the ice away super take over and then you're just left with this clean musky sort of fragrance. You used to be able to buy bottles to refill it. You could spray it on or you could detach the lid like that. And you could just splash it on, which must have felt amazing when you were out in the heat. Um, you can't wear too much of this. You could have put on the whole 100 mils if you wanted. Um, reapply throughout the day, you know. An amazing fragrance, gone. Because I imagine it didn't sell well. And when L'Oreal got their hands on it, they L'Oreal'd it. You know, that's what L'Oreal do. And that horse isn't very happy with L'Oreal either, and why should it be? You know? Upsetting scenes. L'Oreal have butchered Mugler, and it's a terrible thing. <clears throat> but anyway, if you like bars of soap, if you like non-expensive bars of soap, like, this is very different to Cologne Aficionale, which does smell like that very posh French soap, you know? This, that smells like triple milled Marseille's soap, you know? I can't remember what the special soap is that that smells like. This doesn't. This smells like something that would dry your skin out if it was a soap. It smells like something that wouldn't last very long. 
Um, because triple mill bars of soap are, the, are like the best ones and they last for ages because they've, they've got a very low water content. This smells like it's got a very high water content. I've just smelled it there and I've thought since it was to be used in the shower, it could, the, the S-No could be steam. But, ah, maybe, maybe not. You know, I still think it might be an ice away super type thing. I mean, there's ice away super in it to be to be left in no doubt. Um, but it's gone, and the prices have gone through the roof. Don't don't pay hundreds of pounds for this. Don't be silly. It's gone, and unless you've got some unearthly sentimental attachment to it. There's no need to be paying hundreds of pounds for this. Just, just get a bar of soap and smell that instead. Um, but yeah. Sorry this hasn't been the most in-depth review. You can only work with what you've got. I do like this fragrance. As you can see, I've worn quite a bit of it. And I will continue to wear it. And when I wear it, and when it's gone, I won't replace it. Um, and I'll wear me back up as well. And when that's gone, I won't replace that. Um, because I've got other stuff that's much better. So, not the most positive review, but not the most negative either. Just, they could have continued to sell this at low prices, and it would have had a cult following for a while, but that's not what companies like L'Oreal are into, you know? More's the pity. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this review. I will see you all again soon.